We gather here today, as we have been so eloquently told, here for a solemn, profound, saddening, and yet triumphant occasion. It's an occasion that commemorates all we've lost, the irreplaceable humanity whose monstrous end will ever testify to the hellish depths of human evil. But it's an occasion that commemorates something else as well. It commemorates the seriousness of our intention as human beings, as Americans, and in the case of many here today, as Jews, to keep the memory of the six million fresh and enduring. We who did not go their way owe them this. We must make sure their deaths have posthumous meaning. We must make sure that from now until the end of days, all humankind stares this evil in the face, that all humankind knows what this evil looks like and how it came to be. And when we truly, truly know it for what it was, then and only then can we be sure that it will never come again. Some people say evil of this degree is incomprehensible. They say we will never understand it. Some people even say that the word evil is insufficient to describe the Holocaust. And instead they use terms like mad, crazy, insane. I think they're wrong. What we saw there at Treblinka and Belsen and Auschwitz and Dachau was the image of the inferno. That may have been the ultimate purpose of those who made the Holocaust, a grotesque effort to hurl the earth into the very pit of the serpent. I believe the Holocaust is comprehensible. Indeed, we must comprehend it. We have no choice. The future of mankind depends upon it. And that's what we're here for, to lay the cornerstone for the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, which will help us understand and make it impossible for us to forget.